I spent countless hours out on the soccer field, and I've played on many club teams, and I've also played on my high school team for four years straight. Um, one of the most important things whenever playing soccer is obviously scoring goals, and even professionals have a hard time doing that. That's why they have to rely on their accuracy and the um, their technique to achieve that. That is why today I'm going to teach you how to correctly strike a soccer ball. Um, this is relative to you because if you ever want to teach your future kids or your relatives or yourself how to play soccer, this is one of the basic things you need to know, like how to do that. Um, there are three easy ways, or three easy steps um, on how to kick a soccer ball. The first one is analyzing the situation. The second one is planting your foot. And the third one is following through and actually striking the ball. Um, when analyzing the situation, you first want to there are a couple of factors that come into play. You first think about what type of field you're on. Are you on a turf field, are you on a field, or are you in a gymnasium or like an indoor facility? Um, if you're on a turf field, the ball typically rolls a little bit faster or the um, play is a little bit quicker because the turf is a little bit shorter than grass usually is. And so you want to keep up with the ball and get it off your foot as quickly as possible. In a grass field, then the grass is typically a little bit longer and a little bit thicker than turf is, and so the ball's not going to go as far and it's not going to um, get off your foot as quickly as it would if you're on turf, and so you want to kick it a little bit harder. And if you're in indoors, then the ball is going to go really quickly and the game is going to be really fast paced, and so you really want to focus on your shot and you want to focus on the game. And sometimes whenever you're indoors, your foot hits the ground really hard and that's really bad, so you also have to be aware of that. Uh, the next step is uh, planning your not dominant foot right next to the ball. Your foot wants to be at least a foot away from the ball. And your foot also wants to be facing the direction you want the ball to go into, or the, the direction you want the ball to go towards. Um, this is typically towards the goal, obviously. If your foot is facing a different direction, that shifts your whole body over. And so obviously the ball is going to go in the same direction your body is facing. And so always keep your foot the same direction you want the ball to go towards. The third one is actually striking the ball and following through. This is the same as if you're swinging a baseball bat, swinging a golf club. It helps the ball go further and a little bit uh, faster, more accurate. And I will now demonstrate step by step on how to actually kick the ball. I'm not actually going to kick it at you guys, but um, so you first want to up to the ball and you want to plant your non-dominant foot or the the foot that you're not going to strike the ball with next to the ball. And as you come through, you want to lock your ankle, and this prevents injury and it also stabilizes your ankle. And then as you're striking the ball, you want to strike it with your laces, and that creates a flat, solid surface to hit the ball on. And then you want to strike the ball in the center, and that keeps it low and keeps it um, going forward. And so, and then afterwards, after you strike the ball, you want to follow through and almost like hop over onto your striking foot. And so how that would look more fluently is kind of awkward, but you get used to it. So I'm going to do it without the ball so I don't hit you guys, but you want to run up, strike the ball, and come through like that. And then if you practice several times and you're still not accurate or still not good at shooting, you can try it without the ball like I did. You can typically do this in a gymnasium or outside on a football field on like a yard line or a spike line or a volleyball Just practice putting your foot onto the line and hopping over it. And after you get that down fluently, then you can bring the ball back and try it again. So in conclusion, um, if you follow these three easy steps, then you should become a more accurate shooter and a better soccer player. Thank you.